RC enthusiasts, this is Tom's hands again for another NX transmitter tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to use the model templates and bind and fly templates on your NX transmitter. One of the cool things about the NX series is that we have preloaded every single bind and fly model up to this point onto the radio, at least every preset that we had so that you can easily Go ahead and like, let's say you buy a new E-Flight plane or like an E-Flight Timber or a Viper like I have here. And you don't wanna go through putting the settings or trying to transfer it from the website onto your radio or reading a manual. You can go ahead and upload it onto here. So these are for bind and fly. If you buy a plug and play, just a quick note, it may not work the same. Uh, these bind and fly preset models are for the AS3X receivers uh, that come commonly in those models. Another thing that you get is templates. So you have two templates that are pre-assigned and you can make more templates if you like that you can go ahead and use to kind of get a pre-start on how things work. So a template would be, let's say uh, you uh, have a certain way that you like 3D planes to be set up. You, you have, you know, you like to have your expo a certain way when you start out uh, and you like to have your switches in certain positions for different functions. You can go ahead and create those templates and I'm going to show you how to do these things. So go ahead and watch along to learn how. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the screen so you can get a better look at what I'm doing. Okay, so one really quick easy way to do this and one thing that I love about this radio and really the DX radios in general is if you press the clear and back button, it'll go to the model select screen and you go to add new model. If you go to this box, see how it highlights the airplane there? You can change the model type. You can change it to like a helicopter, sailplane, drone, quadcopter, uh, or you can go to template or bind and fly. If we go to template and hit create, it'll pull up this templates menu. So these two are the preset templates that are already inside the radio. If we wanna make more, we're gonna go over that later. Let's go back, let's try this again. I really love how you can go here and go to BNF for bind and fly, and then go to create, and it automatically goes to this list that is saved on the memory of the NX transmitter. You can scroll through, and it is categorized by part number. So if you're not sure what something is, like what plane you're looking for, you can look it up by part number or you can scroll scroll <clears throat> or you can scroll through this long list of available model presets. Let's say you just bought an E-Flight SU30 twin EDF. You got that. Then you go down to it and select it. You're gonna say it will be appended to the end of the model select list. Yes, of course, we're gonna import it. Give it a moment or two. And there you go. We have an SU30 twin EDF model preset already loaded up. We can bind it up to our SU30, check all the control surfaces, make sure everything's working right and go fly. Awesome stuff. All right, so let's say we want to create a template. Like I was saying earlier, let's say you fly a lot of 3D planes and you wanna have a 3D plane template. We're gonna go to, let's just go ahead and select a 3D plane. Let's see what I got out here. Oh, I haven't put any 3D planes on here. I need to get on that. But let's go ahead and select the ultimate 3D with reverse. Select, that's a good 3D plane, a good way to start out. And you're gonna go to transfer SD card. You're gonna select model import export if it's not already selected. And you're going to export the model. Oh, we don't wanna export it yet. We wanna choose a folder. Select the templates folder. Go back. Now the templates folder is selected. We're gonna select the option. We're gonna export and we'll hit export. Give it a moment. And now if we go back and we try to create a new model. And we hit add new model. We change this to template like we did in a second ago. We hit create. It's gonna go here. And now we have that model there. So you could name that model, you could rename it. Let's say you just made a model that was a, uh, 
3D model and you wanted to go ahead and make it that template. You could name it 3D model template, 3D plane template, whatever you like. And now it is a template. You can do essentially the same thing in the transfer SD card menu for the bind and fly folder as well. So you can use the, the folders to kind of categorize and organize your different model presets. Okay, so that is it for this video. This is Tom's Hands signing off. Thanks for watching everybody. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Or if you have suggestions for more NX transmitter how-tos or any how-tos in general, go ahead and leave those in the comments below and we'll see if we can get to them. Again, thanks for watching and happy flying everybody. Have a great day.